Welcome back, everybody. We've reached the, the end of our program almost. We've got the final section, which is the Go Grow Demo Day. So just a little bit about it. Go Grow is an accelerator program here at the Copenhagen School of Entrepreneurship at CBS. So the goal is to accelerate the growth of early stage startups and get them expanding internationally. Um, so the startups, they get around seven months of guidance and training and resources from partners and mentors and investors. And the best part is nobody takes any equity in the process. We're going to get somebody on stage to tell you a little bit more about that. That's uh, Maria Flubert. Maria Flubier Bolt, I knew I was going to uh, have trouble with that one. Maria Flubier Bolt, Interim Head of Acceleration at Copenhagen School of Entre Entrepreneurship. Come join the stage. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Thanks. And um, yeah, it's so nice to be here at the final kickoff. Um, and I don't mind that you didn't know how to pronounce my name because <laughs> it's actually really hard. I don't even know myself whether I should say Maria Flubia Bo or Maria Flyberg Bo. That also sounds a bit, I don't know, trippy. But on behalf of Copenhagen School of Entrepreneurship and our partners, I'm so excited to welcome you to this COVID-19 version of uh, the Go Grow Demo Day. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know it's a bit late in the day, but I'm so happy to have you here. In true COVID style, we've had some last minute changes. Jacob from Faber, from Luna, was supposed to talk about the Luna startup journey. Unfortunately, he couldn't join us today physically. And we also had one startup not joining us, so it will be 16 startups in s instead of 17 startups. But it will be awesome and we'll have some extra time for the pitches and the, the prize awards. Um, Another thing, which uh, doesn't have anything to do with COVID, but I was just informed 10 minutes ago that the Go Grow Accelerator has been nominated for the Nordic Startup Awards. So um, we're super happy about that. <laughs> the Go Grow Accelerator is a university acceleration program with intensive business st uh, and strategy um, guidance and um, for startups who are ready to uh, go international. Uh, they get around seven months of uh, a program where they sit with us physically and during COVID online as well, and, uh, and get, the, get, get uh, mentors and intensive business de development and uh, workshops. The Demo Day is the public culmination of the Go Grow program. Uh, and the founders have the chance to pitch their startups in a three minute sharp pitch to investors and potential business partners. Usually, we welcome people to watch this in person, but due to COVID, we had to do a couple of pivots along the way, and this is one of them. Today, business angels, venture capitalists, potential business partners and industry experts, as well as perhaps some friends and family, are watching with us. And thank you so much for watching and for your support and interest. It means the world. In the next approximately two hours, you will have the unique opportunity to see these 16 startups do a three-minute sharp pitch. I'm really impressed with these startups. Um, they've really developed a lot. Some have catapulted their sales. Others managed to do a true COVID pivot of their entire business, while others got their first customers uh, or secured funding. But you'll see more of that uh, in a in a bit. These pitches, they're meant to be uh, teasers for the companies. So if you as an investor or potential business partner want to know more about the startup, we urge you to reach out to them directly and set up a meeting. They'll be more than happy to talk to you and explain more about their tractions, their sales and their business. We also have three prizes to hand out today. We have a crowd's favorite, which you can vote for. And you will see that on the slides, you'll simply go to sly.do and use the code 55555, that's five times five, um, to vote. And uh, you need to do that while they're pitching or in the end you'll have a break to, um, to do your voting, voting. Then we have the best pitch of the day, which is sponsored by IdeaWorks. It's two and a half thousand in cash plus 10,000 kroners of wor worth of uh, business counseling. So um, we're really looking forward to hand that out. And then we have the Go Grower of the Year, sponsored by Luna. 
It's a 10,000 crowners cash prize. It's a tour of the, uh, the Lunar office. It's some merch, and then it's a free ba Lunar bank account, of course. And um, I took over the Go Grow program in uh, August. So I'm interim head of Go Grow, and I'm only here until mid-November. Before me was Jakob Heiberg, who has been a part of uh, the Go Grow program from the beginning and a central part of the startup's journey. So, of course, he's here today. It simply wouldn't be right not to have him here. So, I'm super happy to welcome the former head of acceleration, Jakob Heiberg. Thank you so much. It's great being back. Uh, it's great f seeing all the familiar faces. Um, and I'm so happy to be here to see you guys pitch and finish the program. Um, when we started uh, almost a year ago, uh, designing the new program and recruiting for it, um, this was the day that we've been looking forward uh, to um, from back then until now. This is your big moment to shine. Uh, to push beyond uh, the rooms in, uh, at CSE and uh, convince some investors, partners, potential customers that you're the next thing that they need to grab out and work with. Um, I also just want to take a little moment to thank a couple of people. First of all, um, I want to thank Maria for, for giving me the chance to be here today uh, and see you guys finish. Uh, I want to send a really big thank you to Andreas, uh, who started just after me and gave me the liberty to change a very good accelerator program to an even better one, uh, to expand the time frame uh, by two, double of the time that the startups were here, to be able to include a lot of sustainability, uh, have free hands to shape the program in a slightly different way than it had been before. So a big thank you for that liberty and the, the playground I had at GoGrow. Uh, another thank you to Christina, who was uh, by my side helping uh, things happen, uh, always uh, helping me execute and make things uh, run smoothly. Uh, I don't know how I would have done it without you. Um, and. Uh, Lastly, uh, all the startups who I had uh, interaction with, uh, roundtables every week, followed your, your development, um, had this sparring uh, with you uh, over the course of time. I'm really looking forward to catching up with all of you. Some of you have uh, already reached out and, uh, and kept contact, uh, and you're always uh, welcome to reach out. Uh, I'm not going to take up more time, uh, so Pete, please, uh, let's get this show on the road, and I'm going to head out. All right, thank you so much. So, so we're getting started, okay, and we're just going to get going right away. Our first startup is Above Borders. So by arranging relation-based expert tours, Above Borders ensures that travelers interact with the local population and unfold authentic tourism experiences. Hi, I'm Jonas, founder of Above Borders. We are on a mission to open the real world. As the world develops, everything is perceived more globalized. The fact is that the gap between our world and the most remote societies keeps increasing, leaving millions of people in isolation. An isolation which leads to misperception of extremely complicated situations. Above Borders, with its unique insights into the world's most isolated destinations, offers a community with events, podcasts, travel magazines, and unique tours with personalized travel programs. Above Borders promote communication rather than isolation. Since Above Borders was founded, we had 68 travelers, we held two sold-out events, and we generated a revenue of 750,000 kroner. We succeed because we do something no one else can. We, through strong local partnerships, have been the first one in the world to arrange a brewing tour in Turkmenistan. We were also the first to ever bike on the countryside of North Korea. And we are the only travel company that doesn't use stock photos. 
think about that. If someone asks me if it's dangerous to travel to North Korea, I can tell them that I've been there 11 times and that I came back every time. I can even tell them that I brought my mom and dad and I would never do that if it was dangerous. We make money by selling experiences. We continuously offer different types of experiences and keep pushing the limits for what is possible. This makes both our tours, our events, and our unique knowledge work as revenue streams. In Denmark, people yearly spend 2.3 billion kroner on five-day tours or longer outside Europe. But we will not stop in Denmark. We want to be the most influential travel company in Europe, tapping into a market with an annual recurring spend of 750 billion kroner. With our business model, we were, despite COVID-19, able to move into new business areas, and we expect a revenue of 2.5 million kroner in 2021. We can achieve this as our team consists of passionate people with a diversified skill set. A team that has already proven that we can establish long-term partnerships in countries other people could not access. And we have done this in a way that our travelers love. We currently search an investment of 1 million kroner. With this money, we can open new destinations, we can nail our new revenue streams, and we could go into new markets. With this, with this money, we can overtake an outdated industry, end mass tourism, end isolation, and with this, we can open the real world before it's too late. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, we've really gotten started now. Fantastic. Next up, Blue Lobster. So Blue Lobster is ensuring that low-impact, sustainable fishermen are able to earn a fair wage and remain in the industry by enabling them to cut out the middlemen and sell directly to the end consumers. Let's hear more about that. Hi, I'm Christine, and I'm one of the co-founders of Blue Lobster. We're securing the next generation of sustainable fishing fishermen through a digital marketplace that connects low-impact fishermen directly with sustainable-minded chefs. Right now, the fishermen are really struggling to survive in the industry because of the long logistics chain. In six years, 41% of fishermen dropped out of the industry and 49 harbors closed down just in Denmark, which is a really small country, so that's huge. Um, the sustainable fishermen who are protecting our oceans are the most susceptible to leaving the industry, and we need to revert this trend. Our solution is a double-sided marketplace connecting chefs and, and fishermen. Uh, the fishermen are able to earn two to four times what they otherwise could, and we are still able to be cost competitive towards the restaurants, where they pay a 10% transaction fee on top of logistics costs of moving fish from A to B into their kitchens. Um, through the app, we're able to make this direct connection, which hasn't really been able to be done on a scalable, in, in, a, in a scalable way before. We're able to um, provide complete supply chain transparency. That means the, the chefs know exactly who caught the fish, where it was caught, how it was caught, when, which part of the sea, which uh, harbor it was landed. And they're able to access the very freshest, most sustainable fish around. This is a little snapshot into our traction. Um, you can see that uh, just as COVID was hitting, we were starting the Go Grow program. And Jacob decided we were at, the, at a very high risk and in the, oh, you're fucked category. And you can see that we were fucked for a little while. Um, but we are back on the rise again. And we're currently working with 59 restaurants and 13 canteens. Here are some pictures of me and Nima. We've been lucky enough to get some press, and that's really helped us shed some light on some of the issues facing the industry, as well as the fishermen. And here are some of the funding and acceleration that we were able to get before entering the program. And you can see, again, we were really lucky, and we were able to secure our very first funding round just before COVID hit. Um, the three on the left are the team that we started when uh, the Go Grow program started. And since then, we have grown to this amazing team of 12. We're viewing Copenhagen as our flagship market. Um, but the issues facing the fishing industry and the fishermen are not unique. They're facing fishermen 
all over the world. Um, so once we have proven ourselves here and we, we plan to take all of our learnings and duplicate it in other markets to have the most impact we possibly can. So if you want to get involved and go on this journey with us, then uh, please follow the link that uh, should be shared on your screen, I was told. Um, tell us where you work and sign up and we will connect with the canteen at your workplace. We will connect them with a local fisherman so that we are able to buy the most fish we possibly can from these fishermen to keep them in the industry and make sure that you are able to get access to the very freshest fish. Thank you. Next up, we have Circular Innovation Lab. So they bring smart and innovative products on the market by connecting conscious consumers who actively acknowledge the importance of choosing circular products to the brands who truly deliver them. Take the stage. Hi, everyone. Hi everyone, I'm Apoorva, the founder and CEO of the Circular Innovation Lab. Sustainability and circular consumption is important for our future well-being. We all know this, but sadly, greenwashing erodes real sustainability. It makes all of us less sustainable and corrupts the important trust we, as customers, need to have in the products we choose. Truly sustainable companies also suffer. They cannot compete with bigger brands flooding the market with unsustainable greenwash products. Circular Innovation Lab has a solution. Shop Circular is our digital marketplace to buy and sell circular products. We ensure consumer trust by being transparent about each product through a unique storytelling approach on circular parameters such as material input, water usage, and carbon footprint of that product. We connect conscious consumers to circular businesses, thus enabling our users a guilt-free shopping experience without worrying about greenwashing, and help businesses capture the true value of their products. So far, we have successfully completed a test sale and have onboarded 10 more businesses to launch their products with us by mid-November. Currently, we have a user base of more than 3,000 users. And in the past two months, we have won the SCG microgrant, were a Nordic finalist at Climate Launchpad, and have been nominated as the best climate solution at the Nordic Startup Awards. So how does it all work? We find, assess, and validate businesses with truly circular products. These businesses then post their products on our marketplace, and we connect our users to these products seamlessly. For each sale, we charge a 20% commission. This is not just good for the environment. There's a huge economic opportunity here. The value of retail e-commerce in Denmark alone is 1.6 billion euros. Our target segment accounts for 312 million euros, and we have estimated a revenue of 31 million euros by capturing 15% of this market in the next five years. And the team that's going to make it happen consists of Arpit and I. Both of us come from a family of entrepreneurs and have a deep expertise and an invaluable network in the field of circle economy due to our combined work experience of more than 15 years. We're looking to raise 500,000 euros and build an advisory board who will guide us in this very exciting journey. Feel free to shout out to us, and we'll be more than happy to hear from you. And that's my time. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you so much. Uh, moving on, we have Climada. So Climada cuts through the noise and empowers you to take real action on climate change. I think we're ready to go. Here you go. Yeah. All right. I want you to start out imagining you ate nine times as much for lunch as you usually do, and then think about how your body would feel. We Danes emit nine times as much carbon as the planet can sustain. This piles up in the atmosphere like blankets on top of blankets, suffocating us all, and for this reason, 88% of all Danes rank climate change as a serious threat. 
but then why don't they do anything about it? We surveyed them, and it turns out people really want to do something, they just don't know how. Now, this is the reason we started Climata. We cut through the noise and empower you to take real action on climate change. We built an advanced carbon calculator, allowing you to visit our website and calculate your personal carbon footprint in just a few minutes. Now you know how much you emit, and you need to do something about it. Now at Climator, we're all about getting the most bang for your buck. So you could go out and spend, say, 4,000 kronas buying an A-plus energy-rated stove, but somewhere else in the world, families are still cooking over open fire. And those same 4,000 kronas could buy perhaps 20 families a new stove, not saving them a few percent of their electricity, but hundreds of kilos of coal every year. Now, this is the reason that for the same amount of money that could buy you a pizza, you could also remove as much carbon as you emit through an entire month by financing strictly verified climate projects in developing nations through Climata. Now, this doesn't mean that you can just pay to keep emitting. Now you've offset your current emissions, and through our app, you'll get tailor-made goals on how to reduce your future emissions. Behind Climata is this fantastic team with forces within tech, marketing, and carbon knowledge. Now, the first version that we launched of our uh, calculator has already gotten us more than 1,000 monthly paying subscribers, getting us 140,000 kronos of monthly revenue and allowing us to offset more than 50,000 tons of carbon and plant 200,000 trees. Now, we envision a world in which if you have an emission, of course you offset it. To help us achieve this, we're looking for someone who can help us scale the business, especially if you have experience with scaling an online subscription service. For all the rest, I encourage you to visit Climata.com, find out how much carbon you emit, and do something about it. Because climate change is a problem that should have been solved yesterday, so help us solve it today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Design by Wit. So, Design by Wit has produced an educational book filled with inspiring and practical exercises for pedagogues to enable them to meet the standards. Please welcome Martin. Thank you very much. Uh, it's not this one. <laughs> Where do I... Looks like it's designed by Wit now. This looks like me. Ready? Hi, my name is Martin Witt. I'm the founder and creative director of Design by Wit. I'm here to offer you 30% of our business for 850,000. A business based on an educational concept designed for the daycare institutions. Now, in 2018, new educational standards were introduced to the kindergartens a strong initiative to ensure kids the same level of education. By law, these standards are to be fulfilled by 2020. But there is a huge problem. The pedagogues working in the kindergartens were not provided with any educational tools to support these standards. So right now, the pedagogues are frustrated and they're struggling. So what to do? Well, we designed a complete, easy-to-use concept and the pedagogues Love it. The concept has been tested thoroughly in selected kindergartens and is now publicly and officially approved. The kids both increased their educational skills and their language skills. This is unique. Right now, our concept is a physical product, an educational book package, and the only one on the market. But now we want to launch the concept, concept in a digital format. How to do so? Well, step one. First, we want to provide all kindergartens with our basic educational tools, free of charge. By doing so, we're going to be first movers in the market and thereby manifest our position as the market leaders. Step two. This is where we're going to offer our extended educational tools on a subscription basis to create the cash flow. 
And now for some bonus info. This whole concept is based on our kids-friendly universe surrounding Walter the Happy Whale. Since we entered the kindergartens, we experienced how our brand gained a whole new level of awareness. So far, we sold more than 5,000 products, and all of our books were launched in libraries nationwide. But this is only the beginning. This concept is, of course, scalable on an international level. Behind it all, we have a strong team to support both the business and, of course, also the educational concept. So, let's sum it up. Within the next year, we will launch and provide all kindergartens in Denmark with our educational book package. We will launch the digital concept, and we will advocate and implement the concept in the kindergartens. As I said, we're just getting started on this very potential business adventure. This was our pitch. Thank you for your time. Great, thank you so much, Martin. Next up, it's Hood Heroes. So the Hood Heroes platform allows citizens and companies to find, showcase, compare, differentiate, trust, and prove sustainability in the everyday market. So please welcome Frederick to talk to you. Hi, I'm Frederick from Hood Heroes, and I'm excited to tell you about the market hub that is making sustainability everybody's business. This story begins in a marvelous market at the intersection of sustainable offerings and digital advertising, which is worth 7 billion euros today and at least 35 in just 10 years. Yet, with so much demand, isn't it incredible that 40% of citizens worldwide still give up on choosing the right sustainable brand for them to support because it's too hard to find, compare and trust? But that is what Hood Heroes is changing by profiling, rating and validating company sustainability all in one place yet shareable wherever you need it. The magic comes from our gamified crowdsourcing system. Firstly, by asking expert sources and citizen users to evaluate respectively the impact and the value of company sustainability, we gain a uniquely holistic way of reviewing and thus guiding it. Secondly, by incentivizing all actors to contribute to the sourcing and the exposure of Hood Heroes data, we also gain a self-reinforcing growth engine. This system empowers companies to showcase, co-create, and analyze their way to a sustainability brand that resonates optimally with the wants and needs of the market. It also enables us to make money in free synergistic ways, primarily via a freemium subscription model, supplemented by consultancy services, and by licensing our growing database to marketplace portals so they too can compare companies on sustainability. Another thing that is magical is our team, uh, because we have excellence in all the right uh, domain areas, including sustainability, platforms, branding, and entrepreneurship. Moreover, our diversity in age, gender, and nationality ensure that we resonate well with the stakeholders. So far, our bootstrap venture has attracted a great deal of users, media, company accounts, paying customers, and portal partnerships that actually serve as a fantastic lead funnel for us. Therefore, in the next 12 months, we will capitalize on this proof of concept by expanding our product and portal partnerships within our beachhead verticals, especially telecom, because by a truly achieving product market fit here, we believe we can unlock true scalability anywhere. And our road there is best paved together with pre-seed investors focused on achieving maximum impact. So if you are interested in making sustainability everybody's business, including your own, then we are your hood heroes and we should talk. Cheers. Thank you, Frederick. Next up, we have Ladybox. Ladybox is a monthly subscription service for women that contains beauty and lifestyle products. Please welcome Camilla. Oh, there. Hi, everyone. I'm Camilla, and I'm one of the founders of Ladybox. This is my beautiful team, and we all know that women love to be spoiled. They love to be surprised, they love to be inspired. And also, there's a tendency to have a stressful and a very busy life in general. So where is this customized product that spoils and inspires women every single month? Well, 
We want to put a smile on women's faces. We want to give women a break from their busy lives where it's okay to focus on yourself. That's why we created Ladybox. Ladybox is a monthly subscription box and it contains beauty and lifestyle products. You pay a monthly fee of 179 Danish kroner and within the Ladybox, we have five different categories. Makeup, hair and skincare, home decoration and snacks. But how are we else different? Well, compared to other subscription boxes in Denmark, we have a focus on having full-size products within the box. Also, to keep it interesting for the members, we have a focus on varying the products within the box every single month. To differentiate even further, we have created an add-on shop where members can add different products to their boxes and make it more customized. And to differentiate even further, We've created a universe called Club Ladybox. Members get benefits like discounts on products and services in Club Ladybox. And that's how we differentiate. So in 2019, we had 200 subscriptions. Fortunately, uh, 2020 has gone pretty fast. And in April, we rounded our first 1,000 subscriptions. And our goal for this year is to get 4,000. But we keep the ambitions high because in 2021, we want plus 10,000 subscriptions. And we know we can do this. So, from a business to business point of view, Ladybox functions as a marketing channel. We promote the products that are in the box. And by participating in just one box, companies get to reach more than 250,000 women. They get more than 900,000 views. That's just one box. So right now, our chal challenge is to spread awareness. We need more people to know about Ladybox. Also, to keep varying the products within the box, we need more partnerships. So my question is, do you know any brand who wants to be represented and promoted through Ladybox? Or do you know a marketing and branding expert that can help us reach thousands of women? Please contact us. We would really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Camilla. I don't need it, it's fine. Great, so up next is Lulu Lab. So Lulu Lab is a humanitarian game studio working to change the world through engaging educational games on taboo topics. Please welcome Matilda. Hi, my name is Matilda and I'm the co-founder of Lulu Lab. Lulu Lab develops educational games about sexual rights and reproductive health. We co-design and develop with and for partners and for our end users to empower, engage and educate our both boys and girls in sexual and reproductive health and to make sure that they make the decisions that is good for their future. Our first game, Lulu's Journey, is selected by UNESCO as an app created by women for women to change their lives. The game is based on interactive storytelling, where you follow a girl called Lulu who just got her first period. You can ask questions and get answers uh, from Nurse Mary. You can watch videos on how to use different sanitary products. And you can play mini games such as a puzzle over the uterus. In 2019, we scaled from one game level to five with, in partnerships with uh, Safety Children and with Bragg. And these partnerships changed, turned into the Dilemma game. So throughout the game, the users will meet dilemmas and learning flows where they can go through educational quizzes, they can play mini games and watch videos, and also that helps them learn more about uh, comprehensive sexual education. And with the Global Innovation Challenge as a winner by the British Council, we are now able to scale to more countries, languages, and cultural settings. So we co-create our games. We co-create the visuals, the sound, the games, and the stories with both our partners, Save the Children and Bragg, with students from Linkagwin University, and with the young boys and girls from selected communities in Sierra Leone and Uganda. And the game itself is very respectful for the culture, the policies, and the religion in the countries. 
So we collect anonymous data through this game. And the data gives us a visualization of the game. It also helps us to improve our game, and it also helps our partners improve their programs. We work as consultants for our partners, and we also sell impact reports to help gain the effort of the program for our partners. So in, since August 2020, we have impacted over 4,000 users, and in one year, we have a total revenue of 1 million kroner. So thank you for listening to me. Thank you, Matilda. Next up, we have Optimov by Physio R&D. So Optimov is a flexible virtual trainer that motivates patients to exercise at the right intensities, keeping them healthy and very satisfied exercising at home. Please welcome Jose. Hi. Hi, my name is Jose. I'm a physiotherapist from Optimov, and we optimize healthcare, improving patients' quality of life. Lune is a 43 years old teacher suffering from a chronic malignant uh, disease. It means that she has difficulties doing simple things such as going upstairs or carrying shopping bags home. It also means that her life expectancy is, ver is reduced to three to five years with rapid degeneration of her lungs. The only recipe to withstand this gloomy future is a specific medication combined with an advanced uh, training, physical training, uh, that is far away from home. People like Lune ends with depression and worsening condition. We introduce Optimov, a virtual trainer that teach and trains patients to keep uh, uh, healthy and um, uh, good. So it means that uh, patients are able to uh, exercise at home uh, alone. Um, so 121 patients uh, uh, suffering chronic conditions like Clune has been participating in four clinical trials in three uh, uh, Scandinavian hospitals, leading to high adherence and patient satisfaction. Uh, right now, uh, customers are aligned to buy. They have sent already 12 intention to purchase letters from seven different uh, countries and three different continents. Optimov merged biometric sensor technology with uh, artificial intelligence to create a uh, virtual agent that guides patients to train ideally via uh, smartphones and augmented reality glasses. Therapists are able to uh, follow patients remotely via video consultations and adjust the training via our web app. Typically, we ask to the public sector 12,000 euros a yearly for the use of our app with a combined a variety of different uh, rehab modules, uh, patients and therapists using our uh, app. Patients pay 12 uh, euros uh, a month for the use of our app. And uh, we have on top of that uh, hardware sets uh, uh, on a range from 100 to 1,000 euros each. 10 million people are suffering from chronic cardiopulmonary conditions in uh, Europe and the US, and we will approach 0.3% of the market, leading to 10 million euros in revenue by 2025. We have a very dedicated team of business, uh, healthcare research and development, uh, and we are asking for uh, 100,000 euros to finish our CE mark and our uh, market and sales campaign to launch that. If you want to join us to create a better future for the chronically ill, please contact us. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Next up, we have Prediba. So it's on-premise, AI-based predictive maintenance software to optimize maintenance activities and reduce maintenance costs. Please welcome Andrea. Hello everyone, my name is Andrea and the CTO and co-founder of Prediba. And at Prediba, our motto is to bring predictive maintenance on-premise. 
So maintenance costs represent 30% of the total production cost for manufacturing companies. It's a huge cost. So everyone wants to reduce it, but they all struggle for two main reasons. First of all, maintenance planning is solely based on operators' experience, leading to shut down the production sites for many hours and days when not needed, and therefore maintenance is very overperformed. Also, the second reason is that most of the solutions to optimize maintenance are cloud dependent, which has a high cost and has and raises uh, security and privacy reasons. And furthermore, the solution do not integrate with existing maintenance management system. Therefore, at Prediba, we came up with a solution. It's a predictive maintenance software that uses AI to reduce maintenance cost. Our solution runs completely on-premise, thus avoiding high cost and privacy concerns due to cloud solutions. And also we can integrate with existing uh, software of our clients. So now I will explain how it works. So imagine that we are in a, in a manufacturing company. Um, there are some machines, for instance, an ARM robot. The ARM robot produces sensor data. And then at the client, we will install one of the most advanced computed, computing device, which is called Edge Server, to collect the sensor data and to analyze them. So in the on-premise device, the Edge Server, we will install our software, and then we will send to our platform insights a notification to how, on how to optimize maintenance and therefore reduce maintenance costs. So we have a bit traction. Uh, so we've been speaking over the last year with many companies and we've we received a lot of interest. We are about to close with two potential, two potential clients, which are manu multinational manufacturing companies that have 11 and 20 manufacturing sites across the globe. And we're planning to scale our solution to all their production sites. And furthermore, we are collaborating with HP um, directly with uh, their, uh, their headquarters. This is the way that we make money. We have 70,000 70, euros to implement our software and 40,000 euros as a subscription fee. This is our market. Initially, we launched in the steel industry market, which is currently underserved. And furthermore, we have a strong, uh, a strong experience in this market. And we plan to make 15 million euros by 2025. This is our competition. Uh, even though it's a very competitive market, we are the first one in Europe focusing on edge computing and with a solution that can integrate with existing maintenance software. We are a strong team of uh, three co-founders and uh, we have experience in many uh, multinational companies and universities. And we are asking for 350,000 euros to finance our operation for one year and therefore we are looking for a strong partner. Please uh, contact me if, you have, uh, if you're interested in that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrea. Next up, we have Trinus Reiser. So Trinus Reiser offers complete travel packages with everything included, uh, turning advanced travel planning into a, a simple set of choices. Please welcome Lasse. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Uh, my name is Lasse. I'm the founder of Trinus Reiser, where we offer carbon neutral travel packages to young travelers taking a gap year. Today, 9 out of 10 high school graduates in Denmark decide to take a gap year, and out of those, actually 50% decide to travel abroad before continuing their education. And every year we have more than 50,000 new Danish high school graduates, and that's without even counting any technical colleges. When you're a newly graduated high school student, planning your own tour abroad is very confusing and can be an almost terrifying task to do on your own. At Trinus Reiser, we provide them with the comfort and the guidance they need. We offer complete travel packages with everything included, turning very advanced travel planning into a simple set of choices. We've developed a, a digital platform that allows our customers to tailor their own tour in a fun and engaging way, and then request an offer on that specific tour. And we're currently investing in fully automating this platform, which will allow them to both tailor, book, and issue their tours all in one simple flow. By 2021, we will even be the first travel agency in our niche to offer 100% carbon neutral tours to our customers. We have a million Danish kroner in revenue from our first year in operation, uh, and we plan to do 2 million in 2020, but then of course COVID-19 happened. 
But now we've turned COVID-19 into an opportunity to optimize the business. We've developed a completely new backend system. We'll be the first to offer carbon neutral tours. We're entering into some very, very exciting partnerships. And we are launching some new group tours based on more than 7,000 survey replies from our core target group. So now we're targeting a revenue of 5 million Danish kroner in 2021. We make an average of 20% on each tour sold. And in 2019, our average order size was 25,000, which we expect to increase to around 30,000 in 2021 with the introduction of the new tours. We make our profits from our suppliers, so we're able to offer our customers a substantial added value without them having to pay a premium. We are a team of six dedicated team members with one founder and five amazing interns, and I am ready to expand the core team as sales kick off. And of course, we are also supported by a professional advisory board. So what now? We managed to get through the worst period of COVID-19 and turn it from a massive setback into a big opportunity. And we are very, very positive about the future. We believe additional funding could be key to securing substantial market shares in the coming years. So we're very open to initiating a dialogue in this regard. Furthermore, we are looking for additional members to our advisory board. So if you have any in, uh, interest or ideas or comments, feel free to contact me. I will buy you a cup of coffee. And if you want to go traveling, as everyone else wants, contact me. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Lasse. So next up, it's Unmute. Un Unmute provides customized audio greeting cards to make lasting and powerful impressions on the people you care about. Please welcome Hans. Hi, we are Unmute, and we have created the vinyl version of a Snapchat. If you Google audio greeting cards, you get millions of hits. What these videos show is complicated do-it-yourself tutorials. There is a growing demand, but no good solution. Until now. With our new, easy and exciting solution, it takes less than four minutes for you to make other people happy. Our customers love us because there is nothing more rewarding than giving good and personal gifts and greetings. How we do this is actually quite simple. your greeting and upload your photo online and your voice in a picture is sent together with the gifts and products of our partners webshops. With an unmute the people you make happy can be your friends and family or your business customers and employees. And guess who we make happy? Our partners. They can make a lot more money with this as an add-on replacing their cheap greeting cards. This is a huge business opportunity. We have customers and letters of intent accumulating to 2,500 orders and we have barely even started selling. The personalized gift market is huge and growing, but we are also tapping into some mega trends. Voice messages are replacing texts. All around the world, billions of voice messages are sent every day. At the same time, consumers crave physical goods. For example, people still buy millions of vinyls even though we have Spotify and people still send letters even though we have Snapchat and this is the vinyl version of a Snapchat. The greeting card industry has been stabilized by millennials because they are quote buying fancy or speciality cards often with personal touches and they are buying them online. Also for the past three years Interflora has specifically reported a demand for complementary, customizable gift and greeting products because they know where the industry is moving towards. And guess who we aim to collaborate with? So this is it. The timing couldn't be more perfect. We have already sold some prototypes, but now that we have uh, developed this scalable product, we are ready to order a shitload of these. And our software is soon ready to launch on our first two partner web shops. We are a complete team of three people. Lucas is our hustler, I'm the hipster, and Sean is our hacker. So, do you know anyone who wants to make their customers, employees, or CFO happy? Please contact us. We would love to set up new partnerships and expand together. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much.
next up, we have wood sense. So wood sense is uh, automatically detecting damage to woodwork of any building right when it emerges, alerting the users so they can get it fixed right away before it gets too severe. Please welcome Yepa. Hi, everybody. My name is Jeppe, and I founded WoodSense to eliminate damages in buildings. Damages to the woodwork of our buildings result in an enormous amount of financial and physical resource loss. These damages are often detected so late when the problem is so severe that families get health issues from mold or have to move out uh, while their home is being renovated. The reason for this is because construction workers can't do the necessary quality assurance in the critical areas and in the critical stages uh, leading to unnoticed damages. And that's what we've created a solution for. At WoodSense, we, we detect damages to the woodwork of our building right, right when they emerge, so you, the user gets an uh, automatic alarm. We already have 100 um, plus 100 sensors out helping building developers and timber factories. Woody. Our sensor works by attaching, attaching it with two screws to the timber of, uh, of, uh, of the timber, and then it transmits wirelessly for plus 10 years data about the moisture content inside of the wood, together with surrounding air humidity and temperature. Transmits this data to our uh, platform, where it gets analyzed with variables around the local weather, um, the type of wood where the building is sitting. So the um, customer gets a, an alarm when a moisture is happening underneath the floor or a leakage is ha happening in the roof. Our sensor costs 500 crowns up front and 25 crowns per month, uh, while our sensor only costs us 200 crowns to make. A typical case would be 10 to 15 sensors on an average house, but when we roll out at construction sites, we sell more than hundreds of these. Our market, uh, our focus on um, new construction means 40,000 new homes being built yearly. And with an average of 10 sensors per home and a five-year contract period, we're looking into a total addressable market of more than 700 million Danish crowns. That is only in Denmark, and nothing stops us from going uh, out of these borders. Ah, uh, we're starting with timber factories and building developers. Uh, but later on, we will go to building advisors, insurance com companies, and damage restoration uh, service companies. We have the perfect four-man core team consisting of the necessary data science, hardware, sales skills to make Woodsense an actual success. We're looking, or we're currently raising two million uh, to finance our operations for the next 18 months to sell uh, 20,000 20, uh, sensors. Um, and we're currently raising this round now with a group of angel investors with 800,000 soft committed. So please get in touch immediately if you are interested in getting a board or uh, know someone who might be. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Yepa. We only have three more to go. Next up is Wu Wei. So Wu Wei shapes insightful mobility by detecting distracted or aggressive driving without compromising privacy. Please welcome Arash. Hi, I'm Arash from Wuwei. Uh, today, 80% of all the urban mobility trips that are happening are unsupervised. This means that one, mobility providers cannot measure the quality and safety of the service that they provide, and two, Insurance companies are basically only guesstimating the risk based on age, gender, and income level of the driver, which is completely far from optimum. Our solution is to get all the driving insights from a smartphone. We have developed a software for the smartphone to be able to automatically measure the quality and comfort of the trips, as well as monitoring driver safety and uh, creating a risk map of all the streets for any given date, time, and location, all on a smartphone. And here's how it works. Our uh, software connects to the smartphone sensors like gyroscope and accelerometer, and then our artificial intelligence model starts monitoring the driver. And ultimately, we provide a detailed real-time uh, report of driver's behavior, distracted driving, trip quality to our customers. And this setup has given us uh, a, a good position among our competition because we are the only telematics company in the world that has completely eliminated the raw data collection and also cloud uh, computing infrastructure. 
and all our competitors are either using hardware specialized install on every single car or completely relying on the cloud. And without any of these two, we can uh, preserve the privacy of our users as well as going to serve billions, millions of cars with no problem, or even billions. And we have had some good feedback from, uh, from the mobility sector even when hit hard with Corona, uh, including uh, the Holo, the largest uh, um, autonomous uh, vehicle uh, operator in the Nordic region, as well as uh, Freenow, the largest uh, riding, uh, ride hailing company in Europe. And we have some pilots uh, in planning for the next quarter. To serve our customers, we have a monthly subscription fee per driver. And uh, with that revenue model, we are attacking the telematics market, which is a huge market globally, 35 billion euros. In Europe, it's uh, 3 billion euro, and we have started with private car, ride hailing, and insurances associated with them in Europe, which is the 400 million euro market. And for that, we have the right people in our team. Our team is a well-balanced mix of uh, science and AI, uh, mobility, business, and strategy, as well as uh, field operations, which is essential for our work. And we are determined to provide the best service uh, for the current times, as well as pushing for the future of post-electric and post-autonomous vehicle telematics. And for that, we're going to need 300,000 euros uh, in investment to uh, expand our team, our operation, and uh, provide a futuristic service for the, com for the times to come. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Arash. So that's, that's it. Those are our businesses. And how fantastic were they? The future is really bright, I think. I thought that was incredibly inspiring. What's going to happen now? We're going to take a 10-minute break. And this is your opportunity to vote on the business that you thought is deserving of the award, the, the audience award. So if you head over to Slido, put in 55555. Five, 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 that's five, five times you'll get to vote for your favorite business. So in 10 minutes time, we're gonna be back with the three awards. We'll see you then. Welcome back everybody. We're at the very end of the program. This is the awards. This is where prizes are gonna be handed out. Handing out the prizes, we're gonna have Maria and Jakob from earlier, as well as Kasper Gainer, who's the co-founder of IdealWorks, one of today's sponsors. The first award is the audience award. I hope you all went in and voted on Slido. Let's find out who won. Jakob. Hi, everyone. Thank you for all your great pitches. Really great to see you up here. And uh, I have to say, you guys nailed it. Uh, one of you guys uh, also became the crowd favorite. And that's the prize I have here. Uh, without uh, dragging on, uh, let's uh, welcome back Hood Heroes. <laughs> oh, let's see. I'll go over here a little bit. Let's see. We have more than you can carry here, I guess. But let's try anyway. I'll hold it for you. Thank you. Let's uh, have a few words. Uh, wow. OK. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you to the audience uh, for, for finding our pitch worthwhile um, and with, pot with potential. Sorry, I'll speak more into the microphone. Uh, thank you for, to the audience for, for finding our pitch and our Hopefully our concept of Hood Heroes worthwhile. Uh, I've not prepared a speech for, for this, but, um, but I look forward to, uh, to hope, hoping to live up to, to the expectations in this crowd. Uh, and um, we'll start right after in a sec, I guess. I'll, I'll be very happy to just uh, say a, a short remark. Uh, Hood Heroes um, were a great uh, element in this community when I was uh, around always uh, participating, always happy to help the other startups, and uh, always uh, with a smile, uh, uh, picking up the good ambience in the, in the environment. So uh, very happy to see you up here, and uh, here's a bunch of uh, things that you probably can't <laughs> carry. But if you give Thank me you. the mic, I'll uh, give you all this. Let's have a big hand. Congratulations to Hood Heroes, fantastic. Okay, the next award that's coming up is for the best pitch. So, and presenting that, we've got Casper Gaynor, uh, co-founder co of Idealworks. Casper, are you ready? Here we go. Hi, everybody. Um, well, I'm handing out the 
prize for uh, for best pitch, which is a prize we're sponsoring because pitches is what we do. Uh, we help startups uh, tell their stories in a good way. Um, Today's best pitch we give because we uh, found particularly interesting that somebody could tell a good pitch uh, with something that sounds like it's a very small thing. Um, and then take us on a, on a bit of a story to tell us why uh, small things can sometimes actually tap into certain mega trends and, uh, and become large things. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'll present the best pitch to uh, Unmute. See if we can. Here we go. Congratulations. We'll hand things over first here. Thank you. And one of these. <laughs> and if I take one of these things back, don't worry, just for a, for a second, then you can. <laughs> thank you so much, Casper. And thank you. I don't know if someone voted. I guess it was you who made the vote. <laughs> A few of you, thank you so much. A uh, few words I've not prepared. I guess I want to say we want to create some partnerships, so reach out to Unmute. You can call my number, 3061 7180. 3061 7180. And we can find something out if you want to decrease customer churn, if you want to send some, some, some Unmutes to your friends and family. We can help you and you can help us, so thank you. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you so much. Okay, now on the final award, this is what we've all been building up to today. It's for Go Grower of the Year. We're gonna have Maria Bubia Ball, I've got it this time, coming back on stage to give us that. Maria. Okay, so um, this is the big prize for this program. Um, I'm really happy to be the one presenting it to you. Uh, actually, it was going to be Jacob Faber from Luna, but he couldn't be there today, which I guess in some way is my luck, <laughs> since I get the honor of presenting this uh, prize. Um, before I do that, I want to say that, you know, I myself as an entrepreneur and a startup, I participated in so many startup pitches. And actually, I'm a little bit against these prizes because you name some winners and then indirectly you name some losers. And uh, I am not fan of, a fan of that because I think you all did extremely well today. And uh, I know it sounds maybe a little bit uh, kindergarten, Rudolf Steiner is to say that I think you're all winners, but I really do so. Um, I think you're doing great. You're doing an amazing job with your startup. I know how tough it can be and uh, how hectic and chaotic it can be. And I really just want to say that, you know, you're all doing great. You're all developed so much during this program. So please don't, you know, be sad if you don't win this prize because there can only be one winner, unfortunately. So before rounding up this event, I also want to say thank you so much for participating. I want to say thank you to Jakob Heiberg for participating and setting up a great Go Grow Accelerator. I want to say thank you to Casper from IdeaWorks um, for sponsoring this event and of course to Luna as well and Jacob um, who couldn't be here today. And then I want to say thank you to the entire CSE team. Um, You've worked so hard to make this day happen, and um, I think that's that's awesome. And uh, days like this show team spirit. When you manage to like pivot your way out of a, a, a COVID um, crisis and uh, an event that was meant to be in person with uh, so many people attending. So uh, thank you so much, and thank you to everyone else who has made this day happen. But now I can't think anymore. Now it's um, on to. Um, the Go Grower of the Year. It's a startup who's taking a great part in the community and um, who always, almost always been there um, in person. Um, they've done a really cool progress as well with their startup. Uh, they have a really smart solution to a big problem. And then they managed to sell to NGOs, which I think is like one of the most hard jobs ever. So Lululab, come up here. <laughs> Yay! 
flowers and the uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> surprise. Wow, thank you. I did not expect this. <laughs> I'm super happy and uh, I'm happy that it's something that is also being seen as a serious problem and that we can take it serious uh, in our team and we can make progress. So we just look forward to see what the future brings. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, you. you're doing well. And then? It's the end of the program. Yeah, it's That's the end. That's it. We, we got to the end. <laughs> you know, it's, it's only taken five hours and 24 minutes. Uh, it's been an absolute privilege to stand here and do this today and listen to all of these incredible startups and ideas. And what an incredible community here, I have to say. I've enjoyed every single minute of it. Um, thank you to everybody who played a role here today, the speakers, um, the back-end people. Uh, the whole CSE team. I think the list would go on and on and on. That's it for us today. Last point, applications for Grow Grow 2021 are open. So if you have a startup ready for international growth, get online, check it out. That's it from us. See you later. Let's have a big round of applause from back there. Well done, we did it. See you all next time. See you next year. <laughs>